Is receiving Social Security or other forms of assistance a constant struggle for you? Wonderful news. You can increase your monthly income by a substantial amount thanks to additional financial aid that is now being offered by some states. Look at the eligibility requirements in which states are offering extra funding. If you want this knowledge to impact your life, you need to stay tuned. It is great to see you all again at Stimulus Updates. For up-to-date information about stimulus programs for the economy, you should tune into this channel. Today, I, Ali, will be your host, and I am pleased to inform you of some noteworthy happenings. Make sure you subscribe and enable notifications so you never miss an update on anything stimulus-related. We'll get into today's updates after. You do that. Throughout these difficult times, we will do our best to keep you informed and give you the tools you need. Sure, I'll get right down to business. For our elderly and those who rely on government assistance, we have some wonderful news. Supplemental funds to strengthen Social Security are being dispersed by a number of states. Supplemental Security Income SSI Social Security Disability Insurance SSDI and VIA Benefits If you want to know which states are giving more money, you should look into it. Keep watching. More and more states are stepping up to the plate to help their citizens financially. We'll get into the specifics of which states are pioneering this and how it affects you. Find out which states, from Alaska to California, are providing extra funding and how you may apply for it. Having access to these additional funds can greatly improve your quality of life by assisting with the increasing expenses of living. Might considerably improve your financial security. Make sure you are up to date on any changes to your social security. Make sure you don't miss out on any benefits by covering essential dates and timelines with SSESAE say so and via payments. Whether you're wondering whether you're eligible for these extra payments, we'll walk you through the requirements to see whether you can get more money. Get the benefits you're due without delay. Potentially large effects may result from these subsidies at the state level. This supplementary financing has the potential to transform the quality of life for many disabled and elderly people. Let us walk you through the details state by state so you can understand how it could apply to you. Important as they are, federal aid programs such as SSSEI, Social Security, and SSI are frequently inadequate. We'll break down the inner workings of these programs and explain why states need to chip in more money to help people make ends meet when their federal benefits. Don't cover enough. Looking at the states that are offering the most substantial supplementary payouts is the next logical step. Individuals can get up to $247.40 zero month from the California State Supplemental Program ESSP, while couples can receive up to $624.10 for a month. People who get most of their money from Social Security can have a lot less stress thanks to this money. When it comes to paying basic necessities like food, electricity, and healthcare, every penny matters, and the supplemental program in California is here to help. Supplemental payments are large in Alaska through the Adult Public Assistance Program, which is a peer to peer initiative, rural regions in particular. Due to the high expense of living in Alaska, especially in more rural areas, these supplemental monies are essential for the welfare of those with disabilities and elderly. Those in need are guaranteed sufficient. Support to maintain a fair quality of living through the APA program. Every SSI recipient in New York is automatically enrolled in a state supplement program that pays anywhere from $23 to $87 per month. Due to the high cost of living in New York, this supplemental aid can go a long way toward covering rent and medical bills. Supplemental subsidies like these show that the state is serious on helping its most disadvantaged citizens. Depending on one's living status, Massachusetts gives supplemental income ranging from $39 to $454. Offering larger payouts to individuals facing more severe financial hardships is one way the state's program aims to meet the varied requirements of its citizens. This method guarantees that people get assistance that is customized to their unique situations. Supplements in New Jersey range from $31.25-5521 with additional protections for patients in accredited healthcare institutions. Because it provides additional funding to offset the high costs of healthcare, this program is especially helpful for people with substantial medical requirements. The state of New Jersey shows its dedication to its senior and disabled citizens with these substantial additional contributions. When compared to other states, Connecticut's grant supplement payment levels are quite high, ranging from $168 to $298 per month. The goal of this program is to help low-income people deal with the growing expense of living by giving them a considerable financial handout. The strategy employed by Connecticut guarantees that its citizens receive sufficient support to preserve a respectable standard of living. To combat the high expense of living, Hawaii provides up to $355 to individuals living independently. 
people living in high-cost areas who are having trouble making ends meet, will benefit greatly from the state's program. To help cover the difference between federal benefits and the real cost of living in Hawaii, the state offers supplemental payments. The video for today has come to a close. In the next video, I shall see all of you. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future uploads.